Welcome back to my channel. God bless each and every one of you. Um, I just wanted to come on really quick and talk to you guys. Just have a heart-to-heart -heart talk um, about going through, um, going through a hard time, you know, whether that's uh, cancer for you or whether that's you're in a state of grieving or whether that is no matter what it is just going through a difficult season in your life um you guys have seen me all the way from um last year when i was first diagnosed in february here we are almost a year later and i'm just now almost done with treatment and I have to tell you um, that it has not been easy. I'm not going to sit here and tell you, oh, it's been, you know, a breeze because I'm a Christian woman. And sometimes we think just because we're Christians that we are exempt from going through. Um, we're exempt from life's problems. And that is not the case whatsoever. The Bible tells us that many are the afflictions of the righteous, but it is God who delivered them out of them all. Um, and it's been the word of God that has kept me throughout this whole entire process of healing and going through treatment. Because I, I'm going to be, I, and I told you guys from the beginning that I'm going to tell you the good, the bad, and the ugly. And the fact of the matter is there has been times where going through treatment, I'm like, should I even go through treatment? Should I just let it go? Should I just, you know, the enemy gets in your mind when you're going through things of this nature, when you're going through a death in the family, anything hard, when you're going through a trial or a tribulation or tribulations, you can think, should I just give up? Should I just throw in the towel? You know, but it was the word of God. And and sometimes I even had to play healing scriptures at night, you know, to remind me that God is a healer. God is my healer, even though I'm going through, you know, treatments or whatever, and the doctors are doing what they're doing. Ultimately, it was God, it's God who heals, has the power to heal. And I had to remind myself that by his stripes, I am healed. And when you go through difficult situations and circumstances and you're going through it, you sometimes you feel like you're alone. But I had to, just like David did, I had to remind myself that I'm not alone. I'm going through it with God. And the Bible says that, you know, he'll never leave me. He'll never forsake me. And I had to remind myself of his word over and over again. Because this journey has not been easy. This has been the fight, one of the worst fights of my life. Y'all saw it. I, I filmed the whole thing. Going to the hospital three times because of the side effects of chemotherapy. Um, Y'all have seen me go through surgeries and being in pain. It has not been easy. But I know that God was with me through the whole process. And just because I'm going through this process of treatment, it doesn't mean I'm exempt from other pressures of life. I actually just lost my dad um, December the 28th. Um, my dad passed and we had his funeral on January the 6th. So going through all of this on top of my dad passing and I could not be with him in his final moments like I wanted to. I was able to talk to my dad at the end. I was able to go to the hospital and visit him um, and actually talk to my dad about had he made peace with God.
before he passed. So I'm at peace because I know my father. I know where he is. I know he is in heaven um, today and he's not suffering anymore. But I couldn't be there for my dad like I wanted to, you know, at the at his final moments because I'm going through treatment and he was in an environment at the hospital that I couldn't be around because, you know, my immune system just, you know, in September having my last chemotherapy treatment, I couldn't go and visit him like I wanted to, as well as me going, you know, through surgery um, in December, I couldn't go see him. And I just wanted to come on and encourage you all because I went through such a dark time, you know, even this weekend, you know, I, I had times where I cried because I'm like, God, I've gone through chemo, I've gone through surgeries, and now I have to go through six weeks of radiation. And six weeks of radiation, it's not like I go to the doctor once a week. I'll actually be going to the doctor every single day for radiation. So I understand that this is a journey. Going through treatment is a journey, but it can get overwhelming. It can get overwhelming, especially with you having to deal with regular pressures of life and on top of, you know, being sick. So I just wanted to come and encourage um, you all who watch, you subscribers who watch. If you're going through a difficult time, I don't care what it is, God will be with you. I want to encourage you to pray. The Bible says it like this, through, don't be anxious for anything, but through prayer and supplication, make your request known unto God with thanksgiving and the peace of God will surround your heart and your mind. I've had to pray through my treatment time. I've had to pray through difficult situations. I've had to pray my way through. And God is faithful and just that he hears when we pray. He said, I'll hear you. He said, before you even open up your mouth to pray, I hear you. And I answer you. These are the things that I've had to remind myself of going through this process, saying God is with me. If, if, if God be for me, who can be against me? Just like David did, he had to encourage himself in the Lord. When he was being pursued by Saul, he had to encourage himself. So I, I just came today to encourage you. I pray that this video is a blessing to you because I want you to know, I know what it feels like to be going through, don't know what you're going to do, don't know how you're going to come out of it. Y'all, I still got six more weeks of treatment to go as well as I have to have another surgery. My doctor, my oncologist wants me to have a hysterectomy because like I told you guys from the beginning, I can't remember what video it was um, that I did. Um, my oncologist wants me to have uh, a hysterectomy because of the type of cancer that I have. Um, it is being fed by the hormones being produced by my body. So she wants me to have a hysterectomy so that my body is no longer producing those hormones. Um, and then she can put me on medication that would suppress um, any cancer cells that might try to grow in the future. So I'll be on medication for, I believe, five to 10 years, she told me, after I'm done with treatment. But the type of medication she wants to put me on, I have to be postmenopausal. So um, I have to have another surgery. So they've scheduled... Uh, my hysterectomy surgery for March the 12th. So that's another surgery. So if you are going through anything, again, I, I wanted this to be a quick video, but I just came to encourage you all. I know how it feels when you are going through things that are hard in life and you're wondering how, 
how in God's name am I going to make it out of this? You go through it with him. You pray. You meditate on his word. He told Joshua. He said, Joshua, just like I was with Abraham, I'll be with you. And meditate on my word day and night. And that will make your way successful. If you are going through anything difficult, pray, meditate on this word. And sometimes you might even have to turn your plate down, even though I'm going through treatment. And please hear what I'm saying. Please hear what I'm saying. Don't go on a fast and you're going through treatment without consulting your doctor. But if you can go on a day fast, fast your way through your troubles. If anything is hitting you, any adversity is hitting you and you like, God, how am I going to make it through? I've gone on a fast going through my treatment. I was like, cause God, I need you. I need your strength to get me through this. Because the Bible says also that some of some these kind, the, these kind of, of issues, trials, tests, these kind demons, he was telling his disciples because his disciples was asking, Lord, why couldn't we cast out the demon? And he said, this kind comes not out, but by prayer and fasting. Sometimes you have to pray and fast your way out of difficulties. So I just wanted to come by and encourage today not only encourage you but encourage me to remind us that God is still God no matter what you're going through God is still God because this has been a mental battle people don't talk about how cancer going through cancer treatment it's just not medical you don't just go through chemo you don't just go through surgeries. You don't just go through radiation. It's mental as well because that chemo affects. I'm going to do a, a video about the side effects of chemotherapy. Once I'm done with treatment, I'm going to do an actual video about the whole process and the side effects. It affects your mind. If you ever heard of chemo brain, it is a real thing because one of the side effects of, of chemo is memory loss. You can't think. You, you have foggy brain. You're not mentally sharp. You're not really focused. It's a lot, y'all. It's a lot. So I understand going through a lot of difficulties in your life. And I just wanted you to know that if you go through with God, if you go through with him, he'll get you through anything. We're going to go through things in life. We are not exempt. There was something that they always used to say in church, and that was, should Christ bear the cross alone and all the world go free? No, there's a cross for you and me. What does that mean? The Bible says that if we suffer with him, we'll reign with him. So there are some things in life we're just going to have to suffer. We're going to go through. But if you go through, the Bible says it like this as well, that the race is not given to the swift nor to the strong, but is given to him that endure to the end. You cannot give up when you go through difficult situations in life. So I just, I just wanted to come and encourage and give you some Bible to help you through, to help me through the difficult situation that you may be going through right now. I just want you to let you know it's, it's going to be okay. It's going to be okay. Weeping may endure for a night, but joy comes in the morning. The morning has to come at some time. It has to get better at some point. No matter what you're going through, you can make it through. So I just wanted to come and pray 
um, for those. I wanted to end this video today by praying for all of you who watch. Um, if you're going through difficult situations, I just wanted to pray with you. Um, if you don't mind praying uh, together with me, Father God, I come before you. God, lifting up my sister that may be watching this video. God, I ask that whatever they are going through right now, Father, I ask that you will deliver them out of whatever it is that they are going through right now. God, I ask that you would be with them. God, you said you would never leave us nor forsake us. God, you said you'll be with us to the very end of the age. God, you said even if we make our bed in hell, you'll be there. Father, and we thank you for your loving kindness. We thank you for your tender mercies. God, we thank you that you're going to bring us through these difficult situations that we find ourselves in. God, if there's someone watching that has lost a loved one, Lord, we know you to be a comforter. God, and we thank you for comforting them, them and their family. God, if they're going through a situation, a difficult diagnosis, God, we know you to be a healer. God, you said in Isaiah 53 and 5 that by your stripes, we are healed. That healing is the children's bread. God, you said that you sent your word and you healed them and delivered them out of all their distresses. God, I send a word of healing to my sister to my brother, whoever's watching this video. God, I send healing to them, oh God. God, as you heal my body, God, heal them as well. God, they may be going through a situation where they have more bills than money. God, we know you to be a provider. God, we thank you for providing for the individual watching. Provide for them, oh God. You said that you will meet all of our needs according to your riches and glory. So Father, we just say thank you. Every situation that we could possibly go through, oh God, you have already made a way of escape. And I just say thank you. I praise you. I bless you. I glorify you, Father. And it's in Jesus' name that I pray. Amen. And I just, I pray that God be with you as he is with me going through whatever it is that you may be going through today. And I'm going to come back in my next video. Um, I'll actually show you uh, the radiation process, how that is. We'll, we'll talk about um, what I had to do to prep for radiation um, and kind of how that whole process works. All right. I love you guys. If you have not liked uh, this video, please like this video. Um, if you got anything out of this video, if you got anything out of it, comment down below. Um, comment down below and let me know, you know, what you got out of it. Um, if you have a prayer request, please leave your prayer request. I will love to pray for each and every one of you. And if you have not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe to my channel because there's more content to come. It's not all going to be about cancer. Sometimes it's just going to be about encouraging you or how to walk this Christian walk um, as a woman of God. So please like, comment, and subscribe. I'll talk to you guys later. Okay, 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 okay.